welcome to a new episode guys we're up bright and early and today we're chasing squid now i was targeting squid the other day and i had no luck as you can probably see by this footage where are you guys come on yes come on get on i want the big one should i try and foul hook Army, army. I got it, I got it, I got it. No, it dropped it. I was on. Did you see that? <sighs> yeah, I met uh, Jake at the boat ramp. He's coming back now on the ski and we're just scouting out some spots to get squid. He reckons he can help me out. So, um, yeah, hopefully today we'll be pulling in some monster squid. How's it looking? Hey. How's it looking? Yeah, Sweet. the water clay, once, the, once that sun hits it, man, it'll look awesome down here. He's on! First squid of the day. Oh, good stuff, man. That's it's huge. Not bad, eh? That's a massive That's a good squid. one for the day. There we go, first squid. Good stuff. Keep casting, see if we can get a few more. That's good. Yeah, that's good. <clears throat> that means they're here, so um, <laughs> might get a few. We'll get Myself? Some. Yeah, we'll get some. Alrighty, we're changing jig. Gonna tie this one up. Sort of tiger print, bit darker. So, um, yeah, we'll see if this one goes good. Yeah, it's a squid. Oh, there's another one behind it. Yeah. Oh. God. We're on. Yes. He's not as big as yours. Yes. Finally got one. All right, my first squid. So that's two in the bag so far. We'll keep fishing, but yeah, happy with that. Let's put him out quickly. First squid in the esky? That's so good. All right, we're bringing another one in now. He feels a bit bigger. Got him. Second squid of the day. He's a nice one, this one. Look at that. All right, so just put him out. We'll chuck this guy in the esky. And we'll just see how many we can get. The more the merrier, so yeah, that's two so far. Jake's got one, and we'll chuck him in the esky. Come on, we're on again. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, third squid. We're just pulling him in now. Must have found the right spot. He's trying to bite me. Look at that. Oh, it's all right, mate. That, and you just want to really nicely get him with a karate chop. Instantly turns white like that. You can see the colors are still moving a bit, but he's dead straight like that. Cool. Bjorn guys, a fish just bit off the jig, my favorite jig, because this is the one I've been catching them all on. I'm gonna try this one, it's pretty similar. Same pattern, it's just a bit lighter, more orangey, so we'll whack that on. I wouldn't think that it wouldn't take that. Can't believe I lost my best jig already. Man. Might not be big. Alrighty. Oh, oh. Got him. He's just a lily man. You keep them all or you chuck the little ones back? Oh, we might let him go. Yeah, he's a lily. Oh, well, we'll chuck this guy back. He's not too big. And um, yeah, he'll grow up a bit bigger. Come on, mate. There he goes. Get yeah, that one first cast. Mate, I literally had it in the water for 10 seconds at that. Wow, look at him. He just smashed it. He's coming in right here. He's a nice one. Look at that. Good stuff, man. <laughs> <laughs> Phew. 10 seconds. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah.
Oh, he's a little one. There you go. Alrighty, so what's happened is I just lost my other jig. Just fell off, I don't know how, but um, I've decided to do something a little funky. Try, try Mr. Nemo. We'll chuck him on and um, yeah, apparently people have been getting luck with these, so that might be a good option. It's the tiger ones that do so well here. So look, I've only got one left and that's in the sort of pinky, um, purpley sort of tiger print and the other two, I've lost them, so I might need to buy those again. But um, I'm loving these dry wood jigs, like they're working. I don't know what these ones would be for though. They're, they're tiny, I don't think a big squid would take that. It must be bait, but um, yeah, I gotta get a few more of these tiger print in the three O's, but we'll try old Nemo and see what happens. Try that with that. Yep, now cool work. Alrighty, Jake's back up there, so um, I'll head over. They're not really in the shallow, these big squids, so. Get over there. If I got some more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Woo! He's a good squid. Oh, I dropped it. I got him. Look at that. That's a nice squid. Got another nice squid for the bag. This is a good one. I, want, I told you I wanted one more good one, at least. Yeah, that's good. Four. Nice squid in the bag, that's awesome. Yeah, man, he's. Look at the size of that. <laughs> that's a huge squid. Yeah, man. Did he have one him. chasing him? He had one mate, he was about the same size with him. I can't get over that. It's the biggest I've ever seen. It's a beauty. How good. <laughs> Bro, he's right there. He's down deep. We got another squiddy. It's a good squid. He doesn't want to drop it. He's smashing it. He just won't let go of it. Look at that. This guy must have been so hungry. He's just smashing that jig. I'm gonna have to kill him. He absolutely smashed that, that jig there tiger print but I got the um the pink one because I lost the other two I wouldn't say he's a he's a bad squid definitely not the biggest but um yeah beautiful man I can't get over it we are smashing the squid this is so epic and he just wouldn't let that go that's so hungry out here oh he dropped it Oh, he was a good one too. I can see the ink. Oh, that was one of my better ones. Successful mission, guys. We got heaps of squid, so gonna uh, probably cook that up tomorrow. I got some uh, fishing to do tonight, but yeah, super excited to cook up these calamari. They're gonna be so delicious. Good sized squid too. This creek gets real shallow, so we're just getting into the boat ramp now before the uh, tide strands us, so yeah. It's been a good morning sesh. Yeah, bro. So there's a big one, the guy we got. This is probably my, actually, this might be my biggest one. A lot smaller than yours, but. <laughs> yeah, so it's my big one. <laughs> it's a horse, that one. Yeah, huge. Stonker. Got some good feeding ones. So here's our haul. We got about 15 of them, and even after they're dead, you can see the skin still like responding. Wow. This one's got popping off. Look at it. That's insane. We'll get them back in the 
Nieski. Pick. No worries, dude. Thanks for taking us out. All good, man. Oh, really? Yeah, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh so man. Righty, we're back in mine, just cleaning up the old girl, running the uh, the fresh water through the motor. It's important to do that. And uh, we've hosed the whole boat down. So, yeah, now we just got to get those squid and prepare them. Oh. Alrighty. Wow. Guys, look at that. The skin's still responsive after it's dead. Look at that. It's insane. Look, all the color comes back. All right, so Jake the legend literally let me have every squid we caught. I can't believe it. So he's such a nice guy. And here we are. We have got a whole esky full of these guys. And um, I'm going to prepare them now. Oh, oh, there's the ink sack. Yes, I didn't lose that. Oh, I kid you not. It's probably been like 20 minutes since um I started. And there, it's done. It's pretty dodgy, but... um. That's one of them. I got 14 more to go. It's gonna take a long time. But see this right here, the head? We're gonna be keeping that bad boy. I promise you what we catch with that squid head, you guys are gonna love. So um, yeah, we'll keep that for the next episode. So make sure you subscribe to see that one. And now I'm just gonna finish all these off. They're gonna take a while. Quick muscle up, see if I still got it. <laughs> Still got it. All right, let's finish this squid up. Wow, look at that. The tide is coming in incredibly quickly. Fast as I've ever seen it, actually. Wow, it's pouring in. So we only have a certain amount of time before this little uh, kitchen at the moment, this makeshift kitchen, turns to water. It's gonna be underwater soon. So yeah, the water's pumping in and we've just pulled up Brooke and I. Well, we've got the butane gas stove. We've got the... Uh, the squid in there, we got Brooke, and the boat ready to go. So we're going to cook this as quickly as possible. No fancy recipes, we're just doing the traditional calamari golden crispy rings. And we're going to cook that now. So I've already prepared three of the squid. They're all in here cut up into the uh, the rings already. I thought I'd do that at home because my family ate the rest of it last night for dinner. So we have a little bit to work with here. Is we'll open it up. The shops are selling out of all the essential, you know, items and we couldn't find any plain flour, so I've got self-raising flour. I have no idea what the difference is. Apparently there is a difference. Brooke reckons I shouldn't be doing it, but self-raising flour into the bag. What's the difference though? Like One makes it rise and plain is just more of a coating. Oh, perfect. We definitely don't want the self-raising, but <laughs> we, we just won't put too much of that in there. They do different so, things. The last bag of breadcrumbs at the shops would have had to make my own, but we'll crack that that open. Pour your breadcrumbs in, guys. Go semi generous. There's heaps there, and now the easiest part is you just shut the bag and you mix it up. You see that big pelican on the end of the? Yeah, over there? He's so majestic. You don't have any milk or anything. No. Nah. So I didn't bring any milk, I don't have any eggs. This is a little bit of a rush cook up, but this is still gonna be okay because if you remember our last squid episode, we only used the flour. We didn't even have breadcrumbs. Yeah. And it still turned real nice. So this is not a how to cook squid video, this is just me cooking it for you guys. In the cast iron pan over, put just enough vegetable oil in the bottom here. Just like that. Wow, look at that big guy. That was so majestic. I went all the way down here just to say hi to that guy. Now the oil should be uh, pretty warm now, so I head back. Oh. <laughs> Is the oil ready yet? I believe so. <sighs> Righty, so the reason that we actually use the cast iron pan is because it does take a long time to get up to heat, but once it does, it holds the heat and cooks the fish slowly and evenly. Instead of having like a thin, you know, normal kitchen pan where the heat will come up and then you chuck the fish and it gets cold again. The big cast iron pan, once it's hot, it stays hot and you can put the fish on and evenly cook it through. So that's why we use it. It's a bit heavier, but um, definitely does the job pretty well. You can buy these from your local BCF or places like that. They're really handy, especially if you're chucking on fires. So when we get back into winter and get the fires cranking, I'll be using this bad boy. All right, these gently in. There we go. Now we've kind of just figured we're not going to cook every single one of these because there's a lot. 
But we'll fill up the uh, the pan. <laughs> They're starting to sizzle up now. Look at that. Yum. How's it looking? It looks really good. Yeah. I think they're almost ready to be flipped over. You reckon? Yeah. Look at that. Oh. Flip these guys over. They're looking pretty golden on the bottom. Doing well considering we don't have any of the ingredients that we need. <laughs> you don't want to cook calamari for too long at all, so. He's done. Oh, wow. You're probably thinking, Nick, where's the lemons? Yep. Forgot to buy the lemon. But what? we got cupy, guys. This is all you need. These guys are looking almost ready. I'd say He's old ready. mate's done. Chuck him on. Yeah, that little bloke's done. Generous little um, squirt of cupy on the plate. Right, there it is. I might smash one and then you can have a go. I'll grab this guy. Dip it in the QP. Mm. How is it? Mm. It's hot. Mm. So good. Your jam. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Mm. I love calamari. I literally feel like I'm eating a rubber band. He is the worst cook. Mmm. Woo! Oi! Oi! Oh, there we go. That's all of them. Let's hook into those. Hey. Don't drop those. All right, everything's packed up and the water's coming up that other side now. We're about to head off, but I just wanted to quickly say, guys, if you would like to buy one of the uh, Shaw Hawk tees, it'd be really awesome just to show your appreciation for the channel if that's what you guys want to do. If not, that's all good. I'll keep pumping out the videos for you guys. But yeah, these are still in stock. We got a bunch of different colors and designs, so go check that out on shawhawk.co if you guys want. And now, we're gonna get this boat back out. <laughs> <laughs> Out. I'm on, I'm on. Ah. Just gone. Oh crap. He did it again. Bye. Massive shout out to Jake. He's got an Instagram page where he posts some fishing and some content like that. So if you guys want to follow that, I think it's called Cracking On Fishing and Adventures. I'll chuck the link in the description, but big thanks to him for taking me out and getting me this episode, showing me how it's done. Appreciate it for that. All right, so we'll see you guys soon. Hope everyone stays safe, and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Catch ya. There's a butt stop.